What's up guys? Welcome to your 66th Android tutorial for the new boss and again with me Travis. And this is kind of going to be the end result. I was just testing this out because um, I wasn't sure if the tight. Well, I'll get into it. I, I wasn't sure if it worked out or not, but uh, this is going to be the end result. We just put a new text in there with our custom font. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So first thing that you guys want to do is uh, download some kind of a text uh, or a font, I'm sorry, from the internet. I downloaded one called GUnit. Uh, the extension is TTF or OTF, I believe it is. Um, so just make sure you download some kind of font you guys want to work with. You don't have to, but if you want like some font that uh, you know is customized, you're going to want to download that font and then put it in your assets folder. I was trying to think of something that we could do with the assets folder uh, just simply within our drawable or within this uh, graphics activity so figured you know fonts a good way to go so download that put it again in your assets folder uh, which is not in your resource folder but uh, there we go um, once you have that done what we want to do is that's basically going to be called something something called a typeface so we need to do a typeface variable and we're going to call this variable font and now we can set up after we import our typeface we can set up that reference to our assets folder within the constructor again so we're gonna say font is equal to um, typeface referring to the typeface class dot create from assets or from asset and it takes in the asset manager and a string path so we're gonna click this one create from asset and basically this uh, asset manager what it's looking for is basically the context which again is being passed into the constructor so we're gonna grab that context and then we're just gonna hit dot and we're gonna say um, get assets so we're basically getting the assets from the context uh, it's not, not a huge deal right there and then we need to give it a string name which is basically uh, exactly what our font is called so if we do this in quotations just like any other time we deal with strings we're gonna say G unit download that font because it's just gangsta and you know we are all gangsters so there we go we set up our font and now uh, now we can use this font so let's go into our on draw method here and let's do this below um, or before our ball, our green ball is drawn. So let's give some space right here after the canvas itself has been colored white. This is where we're going to set up our font. So the first thing we need to do is let's get some basic, basically some more customization going on. So we're going to set up a new paint variable and we're going to call this text paint. And we're going to set this equal to new paint, just like we've done before. And now let's kind of define what we want this text paint to do. So first thing, let's say text paint dot set color. And you can either do this standard color, or again, we can do something like the, you know, the alpha level. Uh, let's do that one. This first, first argument is the alpha level. So let's do 50%. Basically, that's going to make... Or that's going to be 50, um, like kind of a transparency is what the A stands for. The R is the amount of red we want. So let's say we want a lot of red. I believe it goes up to like 265 or no, 255. I'm not quite sure. We're going to do 254 just to be safe. Um, as you guys probably know by now, I'm not a huge graphics guy. So don't really deal with the, all the colors and all that stuff. And then here's the green. So let's say, you know, you want a little bit of green in there, like, 10 or something it's probably gonna be the worst color in the world and 50 blue I have no idea what color that is but that's what we're setting this text paint to be and let's make this text paint what else can we do let's say uh, set alignment um, no no what am I what am I thinking um, do set uh, what else we got text text alignment that's what it is and then what we can do is we can refer to the alignment class and then hit dot center so it's gonna have center alignment and then what else we can set the text size so we're gonna say text paint dot text size 
or set uh, text size to like 50. And one other thing we can do. Well, no, that's that's good for now. I don't know how much time we have. I've been kind of babbling, it seems. Now all we have to do is basically add this new font to our, you know, our background or our canvas. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to say uh, just canvas dot uh, draw text, and you want to take the one that's a string. Uh, two floats and a paint variable. So for a string, this is what we actually want it to say. So we're going to say my bring back, something like that. For the x value, again, it, since it's center alignment, we just kind of want it in the center of our canvas. So we're going to say canvas dot uh, get width divided by two. Um, so that's going to give us the center. For the y, let's do something like 200. And for the paint, this is going to be what we just set up here, so text paint. And that will give us all the, that other customization that we just added. So let's save that, and we're basically done with this tutorial. Um, hopefully it's not too difficult. I mean, just wanted to show you the asset folder, how you can kind of define the, the paint and then, you know, add it to the canvas. Even though we kind of worked with that already with the paint variable or the paint class. Oh, it's a pink. Yeah, that's what I, that's perfect. Pink, pink and blue and green. This is just uh, amazing. Oh, wait, what, what is going on? Oh, we forgot to, uh, <laughs> forgot to use our font. So one other thing we need to do to the text, text paint, we're going to say dot uh, set typeface. That's the other thing we forgot. And since we set up our typeface in our constructor, we're going to put font here. Because again, that's what we named our typeface. So now everything should be working. Um, just, uh, you know, that's uh, it's just a, it's another example of how we can just add some customization to a paint and then throw the paint in when we're actually uh, drawing to the canvas. So there we go. We got our font now. Um, so I'll get, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial and have a good one. Peace.